Omaha snow emergency starts in just a couple hours at midnight. That means if you live east of 72nd, you need to move your car to the side of the street with even numbered addresses. Also, no trash pickup on Tuesday and Omaha libraries and community centers will be closed. But right now, things are really just getting started for street maintenance crews. A new snow strategy hoping to stop another snafu at the city's busiest intersection. The situation so dangerous a few weeks ago, an officer closed 90th and Dodge. Since then, the city took a hard look at using resources wisely. This reallocation will result in approximately 30% uh, increase in the amount of equipment devoted to keeping the major streets clear, uh, with 11 additional large plows from our parks division and the utilization of 18 to 20 smaller plows for what we consider hot spot plowing and that's during our rush hour events. Private contractors will handle residential roads. Another focus, more communication. We identified some breakdowns in communication the last time, and we believe that we have fixed those. County emergency management teams are staffed and ready to share information. And if there's any request for additional resources, then we're able to uh, take those requests to the state. In Council Bluffs, a snow emergency is already in effect. You know and a similar story on the roads, all 20 trucks and graders will get the job done. We got to prepare to haul a lot of snow. There's going to be a lot of drifting, especially in our town areas, our uptown areas and things. Private contractors are also on standby and police will enforce the snow emergency. An emergency snow route, stay off the park, off the street. Meaning tickets and toes for people who break the rules. When uh, vehicles are left and we have to plow around them, it makes it very difficult for traffic and obviously for our emergency vehicles to get through. And other agencies here in Omaha have plans of their own. The fire crews have put chains on all their equipment. Omaha police are preparing to respond mostly to injury accidents and OPPD crews are preparing for the possibility of high winds. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.